Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working with Apple series. My name is Carl Pauline and this week I'm going to show you how I develop projects using Apple Notes and I'll show you how to connect that project note into reminders so all you need to do when you're working on that project is click and you'll be taken to the note. Now, before we go any further, I would just like to say if you do get any value from this video, then please help me by clicking on that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to get all the latest tips, tricks and news on using Apple's productivity tools, then please subscribe to my channel. OK, let's get into Apple Notes now and I'll show you how I would develop a project. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at a genuine project that I am working on right now, which is a short time blocking course that I'm going to put on Skillshare. Now, usually when I develop a project, it starts off with a not always, but quite often it will start off with a mind map, something like I have right here. And then I will develop it a little bit further. So on Tuesday this week, I actually developed this course a little bit further. So this is like the beginning of a curriculum, if you like. So I have the basic details now set up. This is now becoming a full blown project. But as you'll notice right now, this is currently in my inbox. In notes, you can't change the date. If I just right click on that, you can't change the name of this folder. It's notes. So it basically acts as your inbox. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to then call this time blocking course. And that now gives me a place to put my notes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my notes into the actual project folder. This is what I call this. This is what it would be. Now, for the purposes of this, this is just a demonstration, but I would then move it into my projects folder right here, which I have a load of projects already in there. But for our, um, for our purposes of this, I'm just going to keep this outside of my projects uh, folder completely. Now, once I've started something like this, the next thing you want to be looking at is what are the timelines we're looking at? We want to like a, a master note, if you like, that we're going to pin in the folder. So we need to create a new note. And this is time blocking master note. Now, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to add a table because uh, I'm going to put deadline is going to be in here. And I'm going to say this is going to be the 30th of March, 2022. And you see, that's going to be a very important. What I usually do, by the way, is I bold the titles. You can bold the title. You can actually change the colors as well, which I'll show you in a moment. Uh, and then something, maybe I'm going to put in purpose and stuff. But I've actually probably got the purpose in here. So I'm going to do this right here. And... I'm going to say, let's go back to my master note and I can do down here. I'm going to go purpose of the course. Uh, purpose is going to be, and I'm just going to paste that in there. So this will, I will just change the title, uh, change the, the formatting of that. I'm going to make that into a heading and just bring it down a bit further. And so what you can do, I mentioned earlier, you want to change the color of the text. What I'm just do is uh, shift command C brings up the color wheel. Uh, I, this goes on to my other screen. I'm going to make that blue and you just hit that. And now I've got um, the type, you know, I've just got the purpose. So this is going to be my master note. Now, because it's my master note, I have a couple of videos that I've done on time blocking. So for example, I've got, uh, let's go into my videos here and let's see. I know I did a video, uh, how I time block. So let's just open up this. And we don't want to do the adverts. Let's go share. I'm going to copy that. Now, you can do this another way, by the way. You can go into your share sheet up at the top. I can go to Apple Notes and I can actually choose a note from this. So I'm going to go into iCloud. We have just created a new note. So time blocker, where's my folders? We're going to go for the time blocking course. And I'm going to add that to the master note. 
So I'm just gonna add that and I'm gonna save and that's now in. So I could have other resources and stuff, but that's now in there. So I've got my resources put together in the master note. Like I say, with the master note, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pin it so it's always at the top. And then I've got my details down here. So this is how you can start off by structuring your, your notes. Now, for the purpose of this, I don't actually have an email from anybody um, that tells me uh, that I have uh, an email. But let's just imagine I'm collaborating and this email is very important. What I can do is I can actually drag this email into here. So I'm going to drag it into there. When I click, uh, click that one out, what I can now do is I can just tap on that and that will bring up the email if I need to go. And you can see how fast that is. And by the way, you can do that also on an iPad if you're developing this on an iPad. So these are some of the things that you may want to do. Now, finally, what are you can do? You can add all sorts, by the way. So that's email, that's web links. You can write, you've got your master note here. You can keep all sorts. You know, you can put like milestones in here if you wish, whatever you want to do. Um, I can now type in here like uh, for Skillshare. And you know, I could add up whatever I want to do in there, like a link to my skill share page or whatever I want to do. Now, if I wanted to, I can now add this. This is a little trick that I've discovered. I can now add this to my reminders. Now, watch what happens. I'm going to add this to reminders, uh, time blocking note deadline. And I've got it'll actually give you all the text like you can see in here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going. Can I? Yes, I can get rid of this. So I'm going to, going to get rid of the the text, because I don't need the text, but what you'll see is the note is there. So I'm gonna add this now to my reminders. So when I open up reminders, like so, I'm gonna open up reminders. Uh, that's gone into my uh, inbox, as you can see here. It's got the link to the note right there. So when I tap on that, it brings up the note. So I've got the note link, and now I can go in here and I can edit this. So I don't need to have the type, the, the, the content in there uh, and I'm going to actually just say we're going to change this to work on uh, time blocking course there's a course and that's basically all I need to do once I've done that hit return and the job's done so I've got my note link is in there everything is great is no problems it's all sorted out and it's in reminders so if you're using reminders an apple uh, system together you can actually talk get these two items now on mac os and ipad of course by just going onto your share sheet and sending it to reminders so there you go there's just a brief overview i mean you can dump all sorts of stuff in here if you wish i mean one of the other things i should have mentioned right if i go back to mail and go into this i can now copy this uh, as you see i can see this is coming from a newsletter but what i could do is i can go into here copy this um, let's just do it from there and I could I could if I wished just put the actual just paste all that in there now it's not ideal because it's basically thrown in removed all the all the um, the the images and so on but if you wished and you only wanted to get the text then you know you can do that but one of the great things about that if you do get links you can actually get the links will come in so just an idea if you wish I generally copy and paste emails unless it's something like this where I know the formatting is going to get lost in which case I would just put the email link in there so there you go that's all you really need to know about setting up projects once that's set up I move that into my projects folder and off I go all the details are there my notes and anything else the original idea from the from the mind map and I have a master list up here which gives me the deadline and right up at the top you can see it comes up deadline 30th of March and that's it that's how you can manage projects from your notes and use reminders at the same time well thank you very much for watching this episode and it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week Hello, thank you very much for watching my videos. Now I have something exciting to tell you about. Recently I have developed a brand new time management system. It's a system designed to manage your time in the 21st century. The world has changed a lot over the last 20 years. In fact, it's actually changed a lot this year. And what we need now is a system, a time management system that is very easy to use, 
easy to maintain so that you can spend more of your time doing the work. And that's what the time sector system is all about. It's going to change your whole belief system about way, the way a time management system should work because this focuses on when, when you are going to do the task. And let's be honest, it doesn't matter how motivated, inspired or how urgent something is. If you don't have time to do it, it is never going to get done. And that's what this system is built around, getting your work done. So you can spend more of your time doing the things that you want to do. I hope you join me in this course. The full details of the course are in the show notes below. So please join me and thank you very much for watching this brief video.